Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today we're going to be going over lactated ringers, and before we get into it, I have done a video over normal saline if you're looking into IV fluids, and I'll link it in the top corner of this video and definitely go check it out. So lactated ringers is also known as Hartman solution. It falls in the class of isotonic crystalloid solutions. Your indication for lactated ringers is going to be dehydration, hypovolemic shock, burns, and some cases of metabolic acidosis. As always, before we get into your dosages, please remember to always abide by your local protocol. Your dose is going to be 20 milliliters per kilogram IV or IO, and be sure to reassess your patient often for signs of a reaction. Your pediatric dose will be 10 milliliters per kilogram IV or IO. The mechanism of action is that it serves as a temporary replacement for water and electrolytes. And when I say electrolytes, I specifically mean sodium chloride, sodium lactate, potassium, and calcium. So your contraindications are going to be CHF exacerbation because obviously with those patients we see them with a lot of fluid in their lungs we definitely don't want to give lactated ringers to them. Also renal failure patients and patients with extreme hypertension. Your adverse reactions could be a rare allergic reaction. It is super rare but it definitely can happen and also fluid overload. Okay let's go into a few side notes about LR. It can be supplied in 250 milliliter bags, 500 milliliter bags, and 100 milliliter bags. So very similar to normal saline. Um, you definitely want to monitor for reaction. Like I mentioned before, it is rare that a patient could have a reaction to LR, but it can happen. Reactions can include itching, swelling, coughing, sneezing, fever. So just be aware of this. Also, LR, just like normal saline, can be used to keep the IV open. So you can put a saline lock in, but use LR instead of normal saline. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!